hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in this particular video i'm going to talk about that what you can do in the last 15 days for the preparation of csi net exam which can make your preparation different from others which can actually help to boost up your marks for the final few days okay so this particular video is going to be all about that now before starting anything about it uh, i would like to tell you that if you are following certain different strategy for the exam keep following that okay and don't like don't switch your strategies but if you don't have any strategy and if you want to follow mine then watch this video carefully all right so yeah so the time when you are watching this particular video approximately you have 15 days from now okay you know the date of the csi net exam is scheduled to be 26th of november okay i'm talking about the chemical science exam because this channel is all about chemistry so on like you have 15 days for your preparation right now there are certain things which generally stays in the mind of the aspirant so i will try to like i'll try to cover all those points in it what are the things which you should do and what are the things which you should not do this is going to be a very short video so let's start with it all right so the first thing which i'll talk about is syllabus okay now this particular thing stays in the mind of most of the aspirants it is stayed in my mind also when i was preparing so i can very well relate to that so the thing is that the syllabus is not completed you have exam in 15 days your syllabus is not completed yet and it happens with everyone okay so it happens every year with every aspirant so remember this thing that nobody nobody who is preparing for this particular exam is that much capable that he or she will cover 100% of the syllabus each and every topic each and every point and nobody can cover from for the exam okay for from the syllabus point of view so now in the next 15 days it's not important to cover syllabus or it's not important to complete the syllabus it's more important to keep whatever you have studied till now okay to revise whatever you have studied till now so syllabus completion is not that important now the more important thing is whatever you have studied till now it should it should stay with you okay so let's say if the syllabus you have just completed 70 percent of the syllabus you are good to go that's a very good percentage actually uh, that you have covered 70 percent of the syllabus if you have done 50 to 70 percent it's fine okay you are good to go so syllabus completion is something which you should not run for okay you should not go for completing the syllabus this is the first point which i want to make very clear okay because this stays and i used to get these questions many times from the students that sir my uh, syllabus is not completed what should i do so you don't have to worry about that okay whatever you have covered till now just revise that okay just revise whatever you have covered till now now when you are preparing or when you are covering your syllabus i have always told you to make notes and make short notes make micro notes so whatever short notes and micro notes you have just keep on revising them okay now you don't have to go for books okay so now you don't have to go for books now revise whatever you have studied don't read from books that will take more of your time okay revise from your short notes revise from the things which you have studied so that it should stay in your mind for the longer time revision technique i have already discussed on my channel like how to revise effectively so i guess you have watched that video if you have not watched i have a uh, like i'll put the link of that although we don't have that much time to do that cyclic revision kind of thing but yet you can do a periodic revision like after one week and after one day so you can do that revision you can keep on revising like, like that so revision is very important okay so revise whatever you have studied all right so it is very important and revise from where from your notes okay revise from your notes don't go for books don't go for uh, like uh, new concepts and all revise the books okay apart from that what you have to do is you have to practice questions okay you have 15 days 15 days are plenty of them so at least out of 15 12 days you can practice questions okay you can just practice if you have not covered pyqs till now okay if you have not solved all the pyqs from 2011 to 2019 if you have not solved pyqs till now solve them okay try to solve each and every question from there each and every means those questions which you have covered let's say you have not studying organic chemistry so don't go for organic questions that i have already discussed in my previous videos so i guess that is much clear to you so 
try and solve pyqs try to cover as much as pyqs from a particular topic let's say you have studied quantum chemistry so you should be able to like you should solve all the questions from quantum chemistry from 2011 to 2019 same goes for every respective topic okay whatever topic you have covered take that topic solve questions from that and from the previous years of cs and net exam and let's say that you have covered the pyqs okay let's say your pyqs are already done so if your pyqs are done then go for extra questions that you will get in test series okay test series and mcqs okay that whatever these things you will get in the different on the different platforms so for test series you can go for an academy mock test there you will get some new questions you can practice them uh, mcqs and all you can get on my channel i have put like a lot of uh, videos on uh, questions on a particular topic so you can go for a particular uh, playlist on the channel the playlist name is topic wise solved problems okay so you can go into the channel you can go to the playlist and search for that topic wise solved problems in that particular playlist there are around 15 videos you will get topic wise questions on there okay so you, some new concepts you will get to know so try to write down those while practicing what you have to do now so how to do this effective practice so let's say you are solving a pyq you are not able to solve that question okay so make a star mark on that question and try to see that what concept is applied on that question okay you'll get solution of that on internet or somewhere so use that solution note it down that what was the concept used in that particular question and try to now uh, like keep it in your notes okay so that when you revise you have to revise that particular thing also so like that you will learn new things also and you will revise the previous things also okay this is how effectively we used to study so revision and practice are very very important okay for these 15 days see the more you will practice the more new things or the more weaknesses you will get to know of your own okay you will get to know that how much or more you have to study or how much more you are lagging behind that is one thing which will be done and second you will get to know some new concepts okay some new concepts some small concepts you will get to develop and that you can put it in your notes and revision and then that will help you to to have certain extra question like certain extra topics let's say you are doing electrochemistry and uh, you have not studied tefl equation and you are doing question from the previous years and you got a question from tefl equation now in the practice question you were not able to do okay while practicing you were not able to do that tefl equation question so make a star mark over there read that tefl equation okay about that tefl equation you might get solution of that anywhere uh, on internet so see the solution how that solution has been done make a note of that that what have what are the things that particular educator or that particular teacher has thought uh, regarding that tefl equation just make a note of that in that way you will learn tefl equation more effectively you don't have to go for book and read everything from the tefl equation understood what i'm saying so this is how you can apply all these things all right so you don't go for completion of your syllabus revise your concepts revise from your notes and practice questions now the thing is that should you study new things so see the new things which i am uh, i would not say that don't uh, like study new things new things you will automatically learn when you will practice and when you will get to like when you will get stuck at a particular question you will learn new things over there right so it's not like that you are not learning new things you are actually learning but in very less time you are learning that more effectively now the time is not that you will sit and you will read book okay if you will sit and you will read book you are just wasting your time then last uh, it's not last second last point is that increase your study hours okay so like increase your study hours so let's say up till now you were studying for four hours so try to increase that time because these 15 days are very crucial okay this uh, in these 15 days everybody is studying very effectively so you have to make sure that you are giving a competitive exam okay you have to be there in the competition so you have to study more you have to utilize this 15 days is common for everyone okay time is not going to increase or decrease for anyone it's just like how effectively a person is utilizing it so let's say there are 20,000 aspirants who are giving this exam I'm giving a very small number I'm just telling you let's say there are 20,000 students so there are 20,000 different approach for these 15 days okay so you have to increase your study hours you have to strategize your uh, these 15 days in such a way that you take out most of the time for your study now it does not mean that you don't have to sleep okay that's where my next point comes that you have to take care of your health okay so health and sleep are very important 
so sleep of around 7 hours is very important and your health is very important this year you know uh, in the in your admit card also you have undertaking to be solved you know all these things right because if your health will not be good if you will not be healthy while uh, like during the examination time um, then you probably you won't be allowed to give the exam right so you have to stay healthy the weather is changing so take care of yourself take proper care of yourself don't expose yourself to the changing weather okay take care of yourself take care of uh, like your health properly and take a proper sleep so 7 hours sleep is very important don't sleep less than 7 hours okay don't sleep for 3 or 4 hours that is going to like it might happen that one or two days it will be good okay you will be able to sleep 3 or 4 hours and you will be able to like manage for that but in the long run it will not help okay your energy will keep on decreasing for like your energy will keep on decrease for the rest of the next days so a proper sleep is very important okay so yeah that's what it is so these are certain points which i wanted to discuss with you because it's very important to keep uh, like a track of you all uh, and to give you proper guidance for the preparation because with your preparation uh, like i'm also attached to that right uh, i'm teaching to you all since these many days and i'm actually attached that how you guys are going to perform so it's like your exam and kind of my exam as well although i'm not approached like i'm not going to appear in this uh, csi net exam but yet with you guys it seems like i'm also going to appear for that okay so that's why it's very important to guide you for all those things okay so make sure you do these things okay so don't run for syllabus i'm just going to summarize the video so don't run for your syllabus uh, keep revising your concepts from your notes don't go for books to revise a particular topic and practice your pyqs and practice questions and whenever you get a new concept or new thing in the pyq just make a note of that in the in your revision note and keep on revising that as well and increase your increase uh, like study time so increase the time for which you are studying so try to increase that and take care of your health and have a proper sleep all right so these were certain points which i wanted to discuss with you uh, in this particular video so it's all about uh, like your preparation and i just hope that you all will prepare effectively you all will perform well and i have a lot of hope from all you all of you all right so thank you so much for watching this particular video if you have not subscribed to the channel so do subscribe it if you like this video give it a like if you have any questions regarding your preparation do ask that in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there and uh, that's all guys thank you so much for watching and take care and keep preparing all the best to all of you